Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And I have a new product to show you. This is a coloring poster by Dottie Doodle. And what it is is a picture made up of dots that um, is sort of like a, a pixelated picture. Now, what picture is it? They do, I'm just going to turn this over and start opening it they do your own pictures and they turn them into dots and into this poster. Now, I haven't gotten it out before but I will show you the picture. So I have a bag with some information in it here but if we take a look there you see it's a picture of my husband and I and that's what the poster is going to look like when it's finished. So on here we have all the colors that are included with this kit and the numbers and what color it is. So we receive that bag of information. This poster right here very big and inside well, let me get rid of this box here <laughs> this is this is a huge item to be working with at this desk so we take this and inside are all the markers that you need to do the puzzle and it is just as big a bag so I'm going to have to come up with a, I'm going to have to come up with a box or something to put those markers in. But well, let's take the poster out of the plastic. It's coming. There we go. It wasn't difficult. So what I'm doing is taking the bag off. And, okay, it just fits. Now, which way does this go? Okay. I'm going to be unwinding it. And here we have the poster. Now there's no numbers in these circles, so I presume, I haven't looked at the instructions yet, but I presume we're going to be going like, um, which is A and which is B. I think this is A and this is B, so we'll be going like A26, B12. And that's the color we'll be using. So, and we've got that, and I'm going to dump out, well here, I'm going to put the poster out of the way for a minute, and let's get out the markers. We'll look at the instructions last. <laughs> so this is tied, what, in a bow? Yeah, okay, so I can easily undo that. I'm going to have to dump them out because I can't work with them. Okay, so that they're square. Okay, so these are just like your regular alcohol markers. Now we all know that problem with yellowing. I'm just going to assume that these don't yellow since they are uh, a, a serious business here, you know, proper business. I'm sure they've already made sure that their markers don't yellow, so that they have the right chemical consistency. So we have a square barreled marker 
Now, the squares are my least favorite, but I, I'm able to hold them quite easily, actually. They're, they're, a good, they're a good way to hold them. So we have a broad, broad end like that. And a fine end, oh, like that. So pretty typical sizes of those. So I have to find a container for all these. So let's take a look at the instructions. Okay, what's this little blue thing here? Okay, I guess we'll come to it when we get to it. Okay, so this is some tips before you begin. Um, these are place keeper strips. Use these like a ruler to help keep your place. We've given you two large for the large sheet and two small for the maps. Okay, here we go. So these are two sheets of white dots. Now I imagine these are to use if you make a mistake. And then we have the color maps. And these will obviously be the different sections of the puzzle. I guess, yeah, the poster, but this is puzzle coloring, so it uh, tells you what colors to use. Now, I imagine in my case, it's going to be, I'm going to find it easiest to, well, to start in a corner and then to work in color blocks with the colors as I go, say, diagonally. Might be a good way to work, kind of like this. We'll see when it, once I get my pages out. Something tells me I'm not going to be able to do it here, that I'm going to have to set myself up at the kitchen table. I'll try and do something here. Now, they've included a blank sheet of paper, they said, to use as a blotter. But... Yeah, these, these sticker pages I didn't notice before, but they're called uh, Oops Pages. And um, this is what your color code looks like. Just zoom in a little bit for you to see there. And then this is what a map looks like. You can see, you can see that the grids are lined. Just have to figure out which one is B and which one is A. So let's see if we've got everything. So it's 27 by 27 uh, color sheet. So that's how big my, my poster is going to be. It's going to be a 27 inch square. That's going to be difficult to, to frame, but we'll do it. Um, one surface protector sheet. Now I don't, I don't see that. That seems to be missing. So I've got the tips sheet two oops sheets, the page and the color chart, and one, two, three, four maps. So yeah, I don't, and the strips, and the markers. Um, so we don't have the surface protector sheet. I color with alcohol markers all the time, so I have the equipment needed. Uh, preview instruction sheet, that would be this. Uh, for map sheets a b c and d we saw that the tip sheet we've seen that two oops sheets we saw that and four placekeeper strips which we saw so we have everything except for the blotter sheet which in my in my case i don't need that 
if this is your first time using alcohol markers for something like this, just put down a piece of thick, thick card, either thick card or, um, you know, a piece of cardboard or even a plastic sheet like a placemat or, or um, one of those uh, thin cutting boards you can get from the dollar store. Just any kind of paper that the marker won't bleed through or plastic. So I'm just going to get this all set up and then we will see if we can get started with, well, with A, but I'm going to have to put these in something, so just... Okay, I'm back and I have set up everything. I've also read the tips and tricks sheet so that I know what I'm doing. And I have everything set up here. I have my my chart that I'm working from and beneath it are a whole bunch of blank pieces of paper so that it won't bleed through and also behind my behind this is a blank sheet of paper I put it there so you can see that it's there so I'm just going to work like this and we'll do we'll do a bit and see how it goes so I've put all my markers in this felt container that I have I use this for I use this for markers all the time. I bought this ages ago at the dollar store, so <laughs> I won't be able to tell you where to get one of those, but I'm going to put it on its side now because, whoops, oh, oh, okay, hang on. I'm going to start off with 97. I've got the marker 97, and we'll use the fine point and see how that goes. I do like to use my chisel, though, in proper coloring, so we're going to do these two dots. One of the great things about this being being on a black background is you don't have to be exactly precisely in the... Can we see what I'm doing? Yeah, okay, I'm on screen. To be in the lines because it's not going to show up. So there was 97 now. Next, I've got some hundreds, which is walnut. Yeah, so that was fine using the fine edge. I don't think we don't need need the broad end. And there are more than one of markers which you'll will run out on you in the first case. Okay, so we're gonna have two like this. It. Just outline it and then fill it in. That's exactly what it says on the instructions. Then we're going to go across here until we reach number five. Now the paper is really nice and smooth. You can just see your marker disappear into the paper. Now let's take a look at the back and see how much bleed we are getting with these. Okay, it's, it's really good. This is so thick that it's of coming through, of course. It's alcohol markers, but it's not, the bleed isn't so heavy that it's coming onto your paper, so that's nice. And if we have an accident, it probably won't get on whatever surface we're working on. Okay, so now it tells you to, to fill in the, the spaces as you use them so that you so that you know what you've done. Okay, so now there's another one under four. Okay, so the next thing I see in my area that I'm working on right here is go back to 97. We're gonna fill in this space with 97. So yes, I am making use of the numbers on the grid. The dots are large enough that 
you can count across as well and then we want one here and that's it so next I've got me some 95's so that's going to be up in the browns too yep so here's 95 there's just enough markers there that it's not hard to look search for the one that you're looking for. So 95 is going to go two across here. Now in the instructions, or the tips and tricks sheet, it said that um, this measures 27 inches square. But if you need to get a 26 inch square, just cut off the border and it will fit. So that's a good thing to know. Alright, so I'm going to go down one line and I'm going to cut across, I'm going to go across three. So this is very easy to do. And it's, um, it's relaxing. Normally I don't like coloring circles, but this is just a perfect um, situation here. Nice markers, easy to hold. Hold them very lightly, no need to push. Paper is smooth and it just sinks in so you don't have to worry about smudging it on top. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying myself. I will uh, come back once I have a uh, large, larger portion of this done and we will uh, take a look and see what it's looking like. Of course, showing you the poster on the screen is never going to look right because you need to be far away from these dots to be able to see the picture. So when I am finished it, I will show uh, the, the picture framed when I'm done. So um, thank you for watching, and I hope this has answered any questions you may have about Dotty Doodle. I'm absolutely thrilled with what I've got and now the only thing is to see what the finished product is going to look like to complete my opinion of these. Do you have a Dotty Doodle? Have you done one? Do you want to do one? Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.